Hi guys and welcome back. Today I'm working on this little watercolor painting and this is actually going to be inspired by and based on a few things that uh, are from my dreams actually. I loved this idea for creating artwork based on on the actual sleep time dreams not like the waking kind but it just seems so incredibly fascinating to to get to know myself a little bit more in that subconscious realm and to bring it into a visual form like this uh, but the idea that I did get to create this piece to to think about it in this way actually did come from a class that I watched over on Skillshare and they are the sponsor of this video I absolutely love Skillshare it is an incredible online learning community where you can go and find thousands of classes that are so inspiring to be able to discover new things to do creatively and there's so many different topics there illustration fine art there's lifestyle things but they all come back to the very creative type endeavors which i love and i do have a link at the very top of my description down below that'll take you over to skillshare where you can join for two months for free so you can check it out watch a bunch of classes see if you like it you can even watch the one that i'm going to be talking about today the one that inspired this painting and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in. So like I said, this piece is inspired by the class that I took and that class is called Drawing Dreams, Quick Illustrations to Find Your Passion. And that class is taught by L. Luna. And I just found it so inspiring to listen to her talk about her process of, of how she would wake up and then record her dreams on a recorder. And then for, I think she said a hundred days, she gave herself the challenge to, to illustrate the dream she had. I, I can definitely see the appeal to a challenge like that because it does really, or at least it could, I haven't given myself that challenge yet, but, but I could see how it could really push you to have to interpret things that might be more abstract into something that, that you could turn into something more concrete in your illustrations or, or vice versa even. And I, I think that it would be really kind of a twist to my usual approach of creating artwork where it might jumpstart really new and different ideas. Uh, for this one, I decided to take that that concept of illustrating a dream that I had and, and spread it into something a little bit more where I could look at different like motifs that seem to come up in my dreams a lot and then find a way to illustrate that. And as I was thinking it through, there were several things that I, I dream, I wouldn't necessarily say frequently, but I, I have it in my dreams reoccurringly. And one of those is actually space, space being like this friendly kind of an atmosphere to be in where it's like in my dreams, I'm able to exist in space and, and I don't need like a breathing suit or anything. And sometimes it's not even me. It's totally different people acting out these weird little plots in my dreams. But, but that that idea of, of space being somewhere that's livable and experienceable <laughs> and then having planets where you can just be close to them. And I just, I've always loved that concept in my waking life. So I'm sure that that makes sense why it would also feed over into my dreams. I also find that that like video games or movies or shows that I'm really into at the moment, those almost always end up showing up in my dreams. So oftentimes when I have kind of these spacier dreams, like, like what I'm bringing into this illustration, it's because I'm watching something that's specifically tied to that. And I like being able to, to be a little bit more thoughtful about that. So I can think in the future to, to actually seek out that kind of media so that it inspires me in the future. Another thing that I, I realized I dream of a lot actually is I, I dream of settings where I'm in an interior space and it's like this, this labyrinth almost, or this massive building with, with all sorts of little secret entrances and exits and, and mystical decor. And it's like, it's like, this is the, the setting for a lot of my dreams where it could be anything like a school or my home but it's totally not it's like this really amazing place and I would love to be able to find a way to to take that feeling that I have in my dreams when I'm in an environment like that and then find a way to put it into a painting or an illustration like that I oh man I just I love environments like that like 
interior spaces where there's these little like secret places. They don't happen very often where I get to witness them in person, but, but growing up there's been a few very specific memories that I have of these like little hidden spaces. Like when I was in elementary school, I remember there was this, it was, it seemed secret to me at the time, but it probably wasn't that well hidden, but there was this door in the gym that was painted over. And then we would go in there every once in a while as a class. And inside of it was this room that had this like domed ceiling and it was painted like the blue sky and clouds. And we'd go in there and we'd learn about plants and it was just so incredible. And in my mind, it was this secret hidden room and that I think just has always really stuck to me this like feeling of mystery and and exploring and I just I love that so I still dream about it but I've never actually put it into a painting and and just thinking about this kind of way to to be inspired and to find that that new that new spark for a new piece it, it does get me thinking a lot more about things that that I don't always give attention to but actually are something that is inspiring for me. I don't know. I just, I love the idea of being able to, to search in, in places that, that I haven't really looked for before. So on to actually creating this piece. I knew that the color palette, I wanted it to be more saturated and bright than what my maybe first thoughts of space would be. Again, I wanted it to match a little bit more of the feeling that I have in those dreams that I have rather than necessarily something that's realistically colored in real space which which I suppose I wouldn't normally choose anyways but, but yeah I wanted the background the space behind the character to be very warm colored so even the like negative space around the planets behind the character it still ends up being like this warm purpley kind of a color and I like that I had a lot of fun with with working in that kind of a palette but I will say that I definitely struggled with coming up with the right balance of the color palette for this piece. I do not think that it was 100% successful. This is this is definitely the type of piece that I struggle with when it comes to figuring out color palettes. So I, I do think it's good that that I did something that's a little bit more complex like this with, with a lot of things going on in the background because it will help me get better at figuring it out. But but yeah, I spent a little bit longer than usual working on the color palettes or the little color comps that is before I started working on this. But I knew that I wanted the planets to be really warm colored. I had so much fun going in and mixing the the purple that I use, which is I think Rose of Ultramarine, I think. But it's from Daniel Smith. It's one of the most beautifully granulating colors I've ever seen. So I have that blending out into quinacridone rose from mgram and then into uh, a yellow color i don't remember which one it was and it was just a joy to be able to play with these different colors that sat next to each other on the color wheel and let them blend together and create these really beautiful watercolory effects i i did learn a lot about how i might want to portray planets like this i actually have a much bigger piece that i've already drawn out the, the sketch and everything and it's transferred on the watercolor paper so this was a little bit of like a test run to figure out at least one approach to painting the planets and space and just get a little bit of a better handle on on going into something like this and that was helpful because I I know where I really struggled with and what I need to figure out before I really dive in with the next one and I did make one pretty unpleasant mistake on this painting and that's a little tiny planet that she's holding. I I thought that I knew what color it was going to be from the color comp but I wasn't as happy with it on the final and then I ended up just making a bunch of layers on top of it to try to shift the color and then it just ended up really muddy and then eventually it just ended up painted black and every once in a while I make this mistake where I just stop thinking objectively about it and I just like get caught up in just painting over it and I think I have to make this mistake every once in a while to remember that I need to pay attention and I need to snap myself out of it when I fall into that kind of downward spiral but after I, I did that and I painted it all black I went back in with 
another paint that stands out on top of the black and then I added some details back into it so that there's definition between the rings on the planet and some of the shapes within the planet itself so it's not quite just like one note anymore. And don't forget to check out Skillshare if you're interested. There is that code down below that'll get you two months free. I also have this original painting at my art shop. So if you'd like to check that out or see if there's any other art goodies or art prints you'd like, that link is down there below as well. And I also have a link to my Patreon. I do want to give a huge thank you to all of my incredible patrons over there. This piece is actually going to be the exclusive postcard for my December $10 and up tier patrons over there. So if you'd like to make sure that you get the January exclusive postcard, go ahead and check that out. And that's it. So I will be back next week with another art video. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you then.